Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from Tech Virus, and in this video, I'll be doing a detailed review of Huawei Honor 6 mobile phone. So I've been using this phone from past one week, and uh, what I can say that I'm pretty much satisfied with this phone. But in this review, I'll be going through each and every thing of this phone, like how's the battery backup, how's the data connectivity, how's the camera, how's audio, how's the ease of use of this operating system, and emails and any other thing and at the last I'll be telling you about the drawbacks yes there are few drawbacks in this phone which you should consider before buying this phone okay so on the top left side of the screen you can see um, what all things I'll be explaining step by step okay the first thing what I'll be talking about is the specification of this phone so you know this phone has 1.6 octa core current processor so the current processor is known for its uh, low uh, power consumption so you can understand that if power consumption is low then the battery backup will be good so that's the real case here battery backup is obviously good the second thing is it has got 3 GB of RAM and uh, the graphics processor is Mali T628 MP4 so uh, the graphics processor is not as good as uh, in uh, Snapdragon processors but it is actually good i have tested games also like asphalt 8 and it was running pretty good okay so uh, let me start with the first topic that is look and feel so what i can say holding this phone in one hand is quite comfortable you don't have to stress your hand it's not too big or too small and the thickness is really good and uh, the back panel is also smooth so you don't feel any kind of problem the edges are uh, not sharp it's uh, beautifully bended so it won't uh, give any kind of uh, strain in your hand while you're holding this phone now the second thing is like you have a 3.5 mm jack on the top so you can see uh, you can use any kind of headphone or uh, headset with this mobile phone we have a noise cancellation mic here so that the what the noise which comes during the uh, uh, conversation of phone or recording of this audio it won't be there then we have infrared uh, port which is used to make this phone as a universal remote control okay now on the right hand side we have a volume rocker and the power button and then we have the uh, sim tray and the ssd tray so you have there is a small cut here you have to put something and uh, you have you can easily open this so in my unboxing review i have shown how to open this now if you see the bottom it has got a normal micro usb charger and the microphone on the left hand side we don't have anything it's pure uh, plastic not bad plastic it's uh, actually good quality plastic so you won't feel cheap in your hand okay so now uh, let me talk about the front part you have got uh, speakers here and the front facing camera which is 5 megapixel and we don't have any uh, button uh, touch button here instead the buttons are on the screen so uh, that's one drawback what I can say because the screen area is getting reduced due to this these three buttons otherwise if, it would, if they would have moved it here then we could have got one inch extra okay now now let me move to uh, next topic what i have that is call quality the most important part of the phone is call quality uh, i've been using this phone on 2g 3g and on the both it has very good call quality the network reception is really good and it's not good actually it's better than uh, samsung phones what i can say uh, in my galaxy s4 it was only coming like three bars or two bars sometime when i'm indoors and on 3g but here constantly i'm getting four or five bars so obviously there is a good um, a re signal reception in this phone okay now uh, the mic quality while talking is good but uh, you will feel lack of speaker quality like the speaker can 
be of uh, louder quality the speaker is bit low but uh, it's good enough you can talk it on the phone so it's like uh, not as good as other phones okay now uh, let's move to the next part that's battery backup battery backup of this phone is really good you, uh, you know it has 3000 mAh of battery it's lithium ion battery and it gives pretty good backup as i told it has a Kirin processor Kirin processor is a low uh, voltage consuming processor so the processor is fast responsive but it draws very less power from your battery and again the charger which comes with this particular phone is uh, two milliampere so this means like the charging speed is also very fast uh, on an average when i was using this uh, phone for charge and uh, it usually take me around one hour to completely charge from zero to hundred okay so that's that's good part of this phone the battery backup is really satisfying uh, i was using s4 and i was not able to last for uh, like eight hours on 3g here i'm constantly on 3g and it's giving me minimum of 12 hours while i'm using it like everything i'm using like my office email gmail facebook twitter uh, youtube or playing some game calls whatsapp text everything if it's a moderate bit more than moderate use and it's giving me 12 to 14 hours of battery backup and if uh, the use is uh, moderate or less moderate then it can give you up to 15 to 16 hours of battery backup so i'm pretty much satisfied with the battery backup now uh, let's go to the data connectivity and wi-fi so let me show you uh, we have uh, multiple options here it's wi-fi 4g and 3g so wi-fi you can see uh, i i am getting good wi-fi signal here you can see uh, the signal strength is quite nice i will tell you my uh, router is in the next room after one wall it's approximately 15 meters from here then also i'm getting this uh, Wi-Fi reception and uh, the Wi-Fi does not drop as in case of other phones it drops sometimes when you are far uh, the Wi-Fi antenna is really good in this phone and this comes with uh, Wi-Fi B, G and N as well as AC the newest Wi-Fi technology okay so if I uh, move um, change this option to 3G mode like let me switch off the Wi-Fi and show you how how is the 3G reception here you can see uh, I'm getting quite good signal it's almost full okay uh, so let me show you the speed test on 3G so you can see on the top the network is 3G's edge All right, so uh, what we can see, we have a download speed of 3.90 Mbps and upload speed of uh, 1.84 Mbps. So this was the speed test for 3G network. And uh, let me quickly show you how is the uh, Wi-Fi speed on this phone. Okay, let me switch on the Wi-Fi and you can just see like how quickly Wi-Fi gets connected. So as trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and yes it's connected it's connected to my Wi-Fi now let me again open the uh, speed test application and check I'm using uh, 8 Mbps connection speed so let's see how much it gives it's perfect it's more than 8 8.68 Mbps and it's constant so you can see the uh, consistency of uh, internet or the data transfer it's really good so this means the Wi-Fi antenna is really good in this phone so you won't be having any issues while using Wi-Fi on this phone all right so this was the speed test for 
Wi-Fi. So uh, what I'll say, I'm pretty much happy with the Wi-Fi speed and data connectivity. Let me show you the web browser, how smooth and how good it is. So let me open uh, Times of India. Okay. So this is loading the mobile version. So this is quite quick. Let me open the uh, desktop version if I have any option. Mm -hmm. I don't have. Let me go down and check desktop version. Okay. Now this will load the desktop version. Let me change the orientation. Okay. So I have to click here. Times of India. Okay. So this is the desktop version is loading quite quickly and this is smooth so I can I can zoom this it's getting zoom. this website is pretty heavy so I have chosen this website to open okay I can zoom this and this is quite good so you won't feel any kind of lag while browsing any heavy website all right so uh, overall the data quality wi-fi quality and the browsing quality is good now let's come to the camera part all right the camera camera is very good uh, when you're taking photos in daylight but the low light photos are not that great to be uh, mm, straightforward the you will find grains on your photos the photo quality will be not smooth uh, but what I'll say the speed of the photo or the shutter speed is quite good and you won't feel any lag it's very so you see so this is quite fast and when you want to delete delete is also fast this one this doesn't take time see how quickly it's loading the processor is really good in this phone and as well as the RAM okay uh, and the camera has many options like 30 megapixel countdown open touch capture video is uh, HD video HD quality let me check okay so this has full HD it's 1080p by default it's 720p so I've not tested that so yes it comes with full HD video okay now we have HDR video as well when you select HDR video this will give you really good contrasts and other things okay now we have different options like volume button GPS tagging double click for camera those things are a very nice feature for this phone and the front camera is also good so if you can see um, it has got 5 megapixel camera and uh, the camera quality is really good I'll click the photo hey okay quality is good front camera quality is good rear camera is also good but the low light photograph is not that great all right, now let's move to the next topic that is audio quality and loudspeaker. Audio quality is uh, good on this phone. Uh, when you're listening to music, the audio quality is sweet and bass is not that great, but it's clear. And uh, when the only problem is like speaker is at bottom and if you keep the phone on the desk, then uh, the volume decreases and the ringtones will be uh, less louder when you're keeping the phone on table or your bed. Otherwise, if you keep it upside down, then it's working fine. And it's quite loud actually when you, when it rings. So no problem there. Now, uh, let's talk about the operating system overview and how is the uses. Let me show you how smooth this operating system is. I'm having multiple uh, widgets on my uh, home screen, such as this, my calendar, office calendar. Then I have Facebook then i have three uh, countries different clocks you can see so these these things are on the desktop 
or you can say the home screen but there is no lag when I dial the number that's good when I open email see how, how quickly it's loading when I open emails it's opening I mean contacts it's opening um, other apps like let me open uh, play store see how quickly it's loading so it's the speed of this phone is really good it's not like uh, the Samsung phones or HTC where you feel some kind of lag but here so I'm really surprised this phone doesn't lag at all any place this is seriously good point in this phone now uh, to talk about more on this particular operating system we we don't have uh, application shortcut like you, you can't go inside the application mode all the application will be on your home screen but you can always make small folders like this so multiple icons or multiple uh, application can be stored in a same group now how to get the widgets so as in samsung phones you get, go into the app and then widgets and get this but here it's a different way like you go hold the screen here then you will get these options widgets edit home thumbnails so when i click widgets this will give me option to get the widgets and and then move this to screen then touch again so this you can see uh, i have widget now okay the next good feature of this operating system is uh, using the different modes of swipe so let me tell you how to do just hold this and then you will have this option transitions select this and if you choose something different then see how does the slider goes so this is actually cool let me just again hold this and change this transition but squeeze you can see how how smooth transaction the animation is quite good okay so there are multiple uh, designs you can explore those things let me keep this the perspective all right so these are the uh, features what i've seen uh, from the day-to-day -day activity the next one is on your settings we have lots of features if you go to settings you have how to configure bluetooth display home storage battery location security corporate email uh, everything is there on this so there are lots of features and the operating system is quite fast as i said if i open gallery you can see gallery is also so quick that it doesn't lag at all okay to tell about the operating system on this mobile phone is android 4.4 kitkat and huawei has modified the ui and it's called emotion ui that's really smooth okay so let's move to the uh, next uh, feature or the next parameter what we are testing on is use of uh, office email yes we can configure your office outlook emails on this phone so i'm using my office email outlook email exchange email on this particular phone and there is no issue at all so i've read somewhere somebody was saying their office email was not able to configure it on this phone okay the next topic is the benchmarking and let me quickly open antutu benchmarking and show you how is the performance it's initializing and test again test so this will take some time so let me pause the video here and come back once test is completed its time is 4 47 a.m and it's five percent completed now okay it's 4 48 a.m and 35 percent completed and the phone is getting heated a bit on the back but it's very minor all right now you can see our test is completed now and uh, here is our device this is huawei honor 6 and it's just below galaxy s5 little bit below than mi4 huawei meta 7 stc m8 but you can see it's powerful than xiaomi mi3 google nexus 5 lg g3 stc1 
Xiaomi Redmi Note Asus Zen 4 phone 5 so you can see uh, by benchmark wise this phone is also good alright friends now I'll be talking about few drawbacks of this phone these drawbacks are not major one they are very minors so at least you should know when you're purchasing this phone the first one is the stock keyboard on this mobile uh, the stock keyboard is not precise when you're typing any message email or any other thing you will uh, skip few of the letters so you need to download some third-party app as for example I have installed Swift keyboard and this keyboard is working quite nicely on the phone so the stock keyboard is not that great okay the second one is the call volume when you're talking on the phone the volume what you hear from other side is bit less compared to other phone so when you are in very crowded area it might be very difficult not very difficult bit difficult to hear the person's voice from other side okay the last one is the uh, viewing angle of the phone viewing angle of the phone is good but not great as compared to the super amoled display from samsung or iphone displays but in 18,000k you are getting full hd good bright screen that's more than enough okay and apart from these three things i have not found a single issue on this phone all right now the bottom line for this phone if you're purchasing this phone in 18,000 rupees it's really good value for your money this phone has all the features what you can find in 25 to 30,000 phone and the best part is it's very smooth and you don't feel like you're using 18,000 rupees phone so from my side if i rate i'll rate it a uh, four out of five and i will definitely suggest you to go with this phone if you're planning to buy a budget phone under twenty thousand. so friend this was my detailed review for huawei on a six phone i hope you liked my video if you like please subscribe and leave your comments below have a nice day bye bye